Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Uh, in our last class, we saw the student application model. In this class, I'm going to teach about the teachers model. Okay, if you have click on this teacher, it goes to the teachers page. So we have we haven't yet created the teachers page yet. Okay, so let me create the teachers page. So let's back to our project. Now here I'm going to create the another controller. Create the controller folder new teacher controller. dot php right now here this is empty control now what i am going to do is here the same student controller i just copy control c to copy control v to paste over here here i am going to instead of the student i am going to change it as a teacher so you have to type press f key on your keyboard here what you are going to do is here we have to click on this here this arrow here find student we have to change this one as a teacher. That's it. Press enter key on your keyboard. Here we have to here here this one. Replace all. Like as a teacher, teacher, the teachers. Okay, so we have to write this one as a capital letter. You have to put it here, teachers, teachers. So get the data as a teacher. This is also teacher. Okay, right? This is teacher screen. Right. Now here this is also teacher. This is a teacher model. Okay, here we haven't created the teacher model. You don't need to create teacher. Okay, this is this also variable. We have to create as a plural. This is a teacher model. We haven't created the teacher model yet. Okay, so we'll be create the teacher model later on, right? The teacher added uh, this is a teacher. So teachers. This also the teachers. So the teachers, the teachers, right? That's it. That's the thing you have to write. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is now we all the things we have made as a teacher, right? Teacher, teacher under all the things we made it successfully. Now let's create the folder which is a teacher. So here we have a we already have a student folder. The student folder, the same student folder. I'm going to get the copy. Copy, select the view folder and paste it over here. This one should be get a copy of teachers. Get day.php. Here we have all the students, we have to make it as teachers. Teachers, right? It's a teacher speech. File save all. Second page, the if this is the index page, we have to change this one as a teacher application. Add new teachers. This one teacher. This one teachers, you write teachers. Teachers, teachers. Teachers, so all the things that you have made it as uh, student, we have to change it as a teacher. Delete teacher. Right. Edit. All things are teacher. Student, we have to make, uh, change it as to all the students, we have to change it as teachers. But that's the thing you have to write. This goes to the teacher speech and do the actions. Okay, it's goes to the teacher speech. Right, but that's the thing you have to write. Okay, right. All the things are success. Let's save all. 
after that you have to create the edit page edit page also students you have to make it as a teachers this is a teachers this also teachers 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 that's it that's the thing you have to write right now let's save all show page this also teachers 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 file save all right now what i'm going to do is here now let's file save now let's back to our application and check uh, before that we have to go to the web.php here i have to select this one the routes section we have to add the teachers if the request is coming from slash teachers this goes to the teachers controller the teachers teacher controller you have to give the path the respective path we have to give one so you have to write here as a teacher controller file save all now let's let's give the link over here teachers right we already given the links let's click teacher uh, it goes to the teacher speech so what's the error are uh, the t the app models teacher right the model teacher is not found that's a problem so we haven't created the migration or and everything we haven't created yet that's a problem right so let's do the migration part right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my respective website tutors funny. Right. Now you have an idea how to create the CRED application. I no need to teach. Okay, I already taught. If you are not touch my Laravel 10 CRED application, you must go and watch watch them. Then you easily understand. This is all the stuff you've done. Only the migration part, we forgot it. Before create the controller part, we have to migrate the file. That's the problem. Right. So I have a, I have to open the terminal paste it here we have to change this one as a teachers teachers right press enter key on your keyboard now teachers migration has been created successfully go to the uh, teachers migration this folder here i'm going to go to the teacher the student the same thing the same properties i just copy and paste inside the teacher as well right after the name teacher as attribute uh, name address and mobile these are the properties of teachers file save what right after the other stuff we have to uh, be be sure you have to save okay be sure to save the file then only it should work if you are not saved it, it won't work okay this part is unmigrated It migrated successfully. Be sure to save the file. Then only it work. It should work. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, you are sure. Right. Now let's save all the things are saved. Right, migrated successfully. Now let's create a model. Model also I forgot it. This is a model folder. The controller has been created. Migration file has been created. Now let's create the models. The, the record is coming via the model through the model. When the controller reaches the page, uh, reaches the data, the, the model is the part where I communicate with the database and fetch the data from the database and given to the model. Okay, so let's create the model, select the student, copy, paste it. This one should be the teacher model. Teacher's model. This also change as a teacher. Right. Now teacher model, we have added the respective model path successfully. Let's save all. Now let's back to the application and check. Now here it's working perfectly well. Now you'll be able to add the teacher's data. Click add new button. Now I'm going to add the teacher data Raj, address India mobile number something like that hit save button record added successfully if you want to view the record click view button record as well you will be able to view the records if you want to edit the record click on the edit button 
here the India I'm going to change it as a USA click update button record has been updated successfully if you click the delete data confirm yes record has been deleted the teachers model working for effective now we already done the teach student and teachers part in our in our next video we will be talk about that post part thank you for watching